Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Tempe, Arizona, Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, Cincinnati, Lexington, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for those tickets. Don't go anywhere else. Want to hear a question that they would never allow on MSNBC, CNN, ABC, or CBS? You want to hear that question? Mm-hmm. Okay, here, here it comes. You ready? This is real. Okay. I, I, I watch it, but I still don't believe it's real. Okay. Now leaning towards Trump, but I haven't made a decision. Mm-hmm. I'm also concerned about the way I feel President Biden was pushed aside. Oh. Yeah. And uh, so close to the elections, I believe these are extraordinary circumstances. And Mario's question? <laughs> the question, Mario. So the question is, how can you clarify this, this whole process and how you were elected? So somehow the question is more powerful when it's not spoken in English. Isn't that... <laughs> That's why it was allowed. That, it's only could be allowed because it was in Spanish. Do you know what I mean? They yes. would never let an English yes, speaker that's right. ask her that. Nobody's ever asked her that. That's amazing. That they what? What if she? What if she then went speak English? God damn it! That would be funny if she did that. <laughs> that's her only out. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to what? So watch what she does say. First of all, thank you for being so candid and allowing me to answer the question. Thank you. I. Uh, President Biden made a decision that I think history will show was probably one of the most courageous that a president could make. Hey, you know what would have been even more courageous of President Biden if he decided to resign two years ago (laughs) because of his obvious and embarrassing dementia? That would have been so then you could have went through and run in a real primary. Could have got a real candidate and And, not this this shell of a person. Okay, here we go which is he decided to put country above his personal interest. Okay, and it's not and that's the, so that's just a lie. I get they love to say Trump is a liar. That's the biggest lie that they're that's been told in this election se- season is that Joe Biden decided to step down voluntarily and put country in front of his own personal th- He didn't do that. He got forced out. They put he, on a mega hat and got on his plane and played Trump's favorite that, theme song, that, YMCA. That's right. As a fuck you. So th- this is and people put up with this. And he made that decision. He very, within that same period of time, supported my candidacy and urged me to run. Ah. He and I have been partners for the last four years as his vice president to him as the president. And I am honored to have earned the Democratic nomination. Okay, you didn't. You were handed the Democratic nomination by the donors. You, you didn't earn anything. How many votes you get? How many votes did you get? For you didn't. You get any? Joe Biden got fourteen million votes. You know, what I mean, you got zero. You yeah, got anointed. It's a close race. You got anointed by the richest people in the world. That's yeah. who anointed you. Okay, go ahead. Um, I am honored to have the endorsement of people from every walk of life. You will probably find that I probably have a bigger coalition of people who couldn't seem to be more different than each other who have come together around my candidacy from 200 Republicans who worked with and for both Presidents Bush, John McCain, Mitt Romney, Uh including Liz Cheney, the former congresswoman, Uh and her father, Uh the former vice president, Dick Cheney, who was supporting me. Hitler from his deathbed, from his his grave. (laughs) He came out and endured. So, you know, saying a war criminal neocon supports a Democratic candidate has got to be the perfect wrap up to this bullshit two party duopoly. That's that. the People who don't seem alike, everything from rich bankers to rich military industrial (laughs) complex people. So. Everybody for giants, like former members, very esteemed members, including generals of the national security community. The war, I have the, the war endorsement state. and support of Alberto Gonzalez most recently, who of course the guy was that attorney general. Torture. The, the guy who approved torture and was on board for the Iraq war. So all the warmongers. This is who she uses. This is amazing. And she's saying this to Hispanics on Univision. Who, by the way, I think are smarter than English speakers based on that question. Yes. <laughs> this port of people from. Every- and you know who doesn't care? The Democratic. Wait, that's the real reveal here, Kurt, is that the Democratic voters, they don't care about this. The people who are going to vote for her. They don't care that, that, that she's 
she's endorsed by the worst, most heinous people no. in our most recent history. It, it, the worst people in the world are Actual endorsing her. Lizard the war, the in, lizard people, the entire warmongering class, are do, are Every, yeah. And it does, everyone mentioned in QAnon. She says supports her because <laughs> because everyone mentioned in every conspiracy because, that I've ever heard. Because to, to the dem people voting for her, those are just details. And Democratic voters hate details more than they hate Republicans. They're shallow idiots. They, what they, it's even worse than them not caring that a, a, an actual demon from hell like Dick Cheney would endorse this piece of shit. They think, not only that, they think it's supposed to mean something to you. Yes. I can't tell you how many dumb radical Democrats have said to me, well, but Liz Cheney, that took a lot of guts. For her to go against the party, and I, uh, uh, and I just I, uh, that's what I do. I just stammer there because I can't believe what I just heard. Here we go. We were both these are people that were alive like me during when we found out Dick Cheney is the biggest. Yeah, I know. Piece of garbage. Here we go. Your background, and I believe this is the reason why. It is incredibly important, and I know you, and I can see you are a patriot. That we have the president of the United States who honors the oath that they take to support the Constitution of the United States. There is a huge contrast in this election. Donald Trump has said he will be a dictator on day one. So they have to lie again. So this is, again, this is a lie. Donald Trump said he would do some executive actions, and he said flippantly that I'll be a dictator, but just on the first day. Not I will be a dictator starting on day one. He said I'm going to use my executive actions, and uh, I'll be a dictator, but just that first day i'm angry he's not going to round all the people that she just mentioned up, up and, and put, put in prison in i want him to do that so there's two lies in, that, in that, that one answer they have two huge lies one that joe biden voluntarily stepped down and two that donald trump has said he's going to be a dick first of all he we have a system of checks and balances so he can't be a dictator we have a Patriot Act that so, already made this happen. So you're, what are you all talking about, idiots? So you're saying you're saying that the president could just decide to be a dictator, and then that's that. I, again, oh, nobody, just, uh, nobody ever. Somebody. No, I would, I would love to see somebody ever, ever ask that question back to her. Here we go. Many people come from backgrounds and countries of origin, and we know what that means when you're talking about someone who wants to be president of the United States and wants to be a dictator, and what that means in terms of taking freedoms from their people. Donald Trump has said he would... You mean like bodily autonomy the way you and Joe Biden did by forcing people to take experimental medical treatments called the COVID vaccine? You, fought, you, wanted, you mandated that. And then the court, you know, the court had to overturn you on that. That's how unconstitutional you were. Or, or, or how about how all those Democratic non-dictator leaders that support her, all, all those people in the <laughs> crowd know goddamn well that they overthrew the democratically elected leaders of their countries that That's they right. came from. That's why they're here in the first goddamn place. So this imbecile, it's just like it's the same as the man commercial. Do you know who you're talking to? Right. Moron? Do you know who you're talking to? The Department of Justice against his political enemies. I urge you to look at Project 2025 and you will see he will strip the Department of Justice of its independence and put again in more again more lies. That's the Heritage Foundation who Barack Obama worked with. That's the Heritage Foundation who puts out a paper every election year. That's not Donald Trump. I get the it's just, justice, so this is three, way, three huge lies that she has to tell to one question. To one question. They're independents. That means they're funded by George Soros. That's what independence means. They're, and they're higher like across the board. Thing. Instead of career public servants, Keep his saying. people who are his loyalists. Donald Trump said he would, and I'm using a quotation, terminate the Constitution of the United States. Did he? Imagine he the that? Constitution of the United States, which, which guarantees the Fourth Amendment against unreasonable search. I didn't know the president could terminate. So the, every president just be just didn't feel like terminating the cut. So they so we have to rely on the good nature of our president. I didn't know the president had the power to terminate the Constitution. That's why you yeah. have a Constitution. So a president can't just do whatever he wants. That's the whole point of it. That's why we have three branches of government that are co-equal, that we have checks and balances. So they have to make this up. They have to do this because she's got nothing to run on because the Democrats stopped caring about people in, right around 1992. Wait, when, the when, Fourth Amendment. When, so go ahead. So go, go ahead. What? Hang on. 
the Fourth Amendment against unreasonable search and seizure by a government on you, the Fifth Amendment, the Sixth Amendment. So I believe that the stakes right now are extraordinarily high and potentially, some might say, historians have said, unprecedented. And so maybe the whole situation, including your point, is a bit unprecedented. But this is an unusual time where we are literally having a choice as the American people about choosing a path, either that is about rule of law, democracy, or something that is about admiring dictators and autocracy. Do you mean like all the, you know that the world's majority dictators you're in bed with? Saudi Arabia? That What? I mean, it's just, it's, it's a joke. These people are a joke. Uh, I, just, I just looked up to see if Trump really called for terminating the Constitution. Okay, so this is from she's, Newsweek Fact Check. It says it's true. Okay, now I scroll down. Oh, well, what did he exactly say? No, at one point, Chris Christie said Trump proposed suspending the Constitution. So Chris Christie said it, so we know it's true. That's Chris, Chris Christie said it. Yeah, Chris Christie said it. So that's how we know it's true. That's Chris, a lot, Chris, that reliable fat fuck. Chris Christie also said that his cholesterol level was normal. He else he said that. That's a fact. Um, well, well, so it's, it's, what I she's mean, it might just be he's a fat asshole or something. So with she's cholesterol. she's talking about protecting. She's gonna. I'm gonna protect you from Donald Trump. She's talking about protecting her, not us. Well, should we name three amendments? And I don't think any of those are threatened by Trump. The Fourth Amendment was Obama. Didn't he do away with that? Am I wrong about that? You, you mean illegal search and seizure? Yeah. I well, thought when he signed that thing, is that not what that is? Oh, the Fifth Amendment. No one is trying to get rid of the Fifth Amendment. That's where you don't have to testify against testify yourself. Testify against yourself. Yeah. That's no one, no you, don't have to, you don't have to incriminate yourself. Yeah, who who the hell is even? I don't know. That she did that. The, all, again, it's all they're just a pack of lies. And Not the first the, and the reporter and the doesn't push one. back. So and, and the host there doesn't know anything. Like nobody really. They didn't push back and say, "Hey, we all know Joe Biden then stepped out voluntarily." Are you kidding me? Why would they say that? They, you're right. Tr- Why would well, they look? This is there to hit. They're hoping to hypnotize the Hispanic vote with this. That's what the yes. TV's for. Just like everyone you know that parrots moron if canada invaded america we'd be in there nuking canada that parrot nonsense we oh we go we fight them over there so we don't fight them over here yes the terrorists go to the sound of the guns i can recite all these dennis prager dumb shit and also shit lib parrot talking democracies on the ballot how many times and I, i have friends say these things to me that know me a long time, that, and, 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 I, and I like, so do you, of the two of us, you think I'm the guy that didn't research what he thinks, and you just parroted that shit at me? Yeah, because it's called mind control. But I don't think it's working, because some people's faces in the crowd, those stone faces, were saying the exact same, they're thinking what you're saying. All of them you could see on their face. The guy who asked the question knew what he asked. He thought exactly what you said. I promise you, go look at his face. Rewind yeah. the thing if you don't. Okay. Uh, and by the way, uh, Pete, immigrants, but you know, she's losing the Mexican vote. She's losing the Hispanic vote. I don't to know, Trump. Jimmy. I was hypnotized. Did you know? Uh, did you know that, Kurt, that the, she's losing? Yeah. Did you know that stuff? You that don't she's like illegal immigrants. You know that, right? That's they what, don't like yes, immigrants. people who are here legally don't like people coming here illegally. The Mexicans that like them are the ones that went to college and have a little more education with this. Yeah. But the blue collar Mexican, I know this for a fact. Yes. Because uh, Willie Barcina, uh, uh, you know Willie. Yeah, uh, I know Barcina? Willie. Yeah, they're, they're the comedian. They're making me laugh. Him and George Perez, because Willie was. They came in. I think. I think they were illegal, maybe, and then they got legal. But he's an immigrant, so he didn't know how American. So he's going to a Mexican school with American Mexicans, and he said he was. He goes, yeah. So I'm wearing jean, jean cut off shorts like Daisy Dukes and cowboy boots, and the kids weren't nice. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the way Africans and American black people are not in league together and never have in recent years. There's this idea of some, no, that's an old, I started out in the black comedy circuit. That's an old joke. How much Africans don't like black people. Okay. But you'll still hear this message from people that don't know shit about shit and don't hang out with different kinds of people like Kamala Harris. She hangs out with her kind. That's right. The same as that lady on interviewing JD Vance. It's that's only right. a handful of apartments. 
They only hang out with their own kind, and it ain't based on race and gender. It's based on money. I believe having a substantial percentage of my financial future secured with gold and silver. You know that's true about me. That's why I decided to partner with our sponsor, Colonial Metals Group. They helped me set up a safe and secure self-directed IRA where I have access to my assets, no matter what the stock market, or for that matter, what the government's doing. Let the team of experts at Colonial Metals Group help you protect your family's future. We put together a special offer for our audience. Click on the link in the description below or call 888-910-1419. And you'll receive a safe and up to $10,000 in free silver. Get out of here. Call 888-910-1419. Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Tempe, Arizona, Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, Cincinnati, Lexington, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. Don't go anywhere else. 